An application note is available on this topic with complete and detailed instructions. Find it on the Festo homepage. Exporting EDS file of CPX API EP module from Web Configuration Portal. Click Ethernet IP in the toolbar. Select EDS file. Now the EDS file will be available in downloaded destination folder. Configuring Ethernet IP communication interface module in Studio 5000. Please refer to the app note for configuring the Ethernet IP communication interface module in generic method. Select Tools from Toolbar. Select EDS Hardware Installation Tool. Ensure Option 1 Register an EDS file is selected. Browse to folder directory where you stored the EDS file beforehand. Open the EDS file. Note. Simply click next until you reach finish wizard. The EDS wizard has been finished successfully. Now the CPX module is available in Ethernet IP Interface Modules Gallery. Select the Ethernet folder. Make a right click. Select New Module. Type CPX in the search box to filter the list of devices. Select CPX API EP. Click Create. Enter the name of the interface module. This name will be the tag name for this module. Select Private Network option. Enter the last octal value of IP address. Note. In case you have a different IP address series other than 192.168.1.xxx then go with second option, IP address. Click Change to configure the length of IOs of the interface module. Click Ethernet IP in the toolbar. Select Assembly View. Note down the byte length of instance, input, output and diagnostic data. Open the drop-down button to select instance type. Select exact I.O. size. Note. Communication format can be selected as INT or DINT based on your requirement, but you have to enter the correspondent instance I.O. size. You can find instance and I.O. size values from CPX API EP Web Configuration Portal. Select Sync Data Type. Enter the input and output I.O. size like displayed. The length of the I.O.s will change based on user network configuration and data format selection. Select Diagnostic Data from drop-down menu. Select Sync Data Type. You can also select INT or DINT as communication format. But you have to enter correct data size based on data format. The size of the diagnostic data will be synced in Web Configuration Portal. So you have to convert the diagnostic data size based on data type selection. Enter the input size like displayed. Click OK to complete the configuration. Importing AOIs in Studio 5000. 
Import AOIs. Make a right click on Add on Instructions. Select Import Add on Instruction. Browse to the folder directory where the AOI file is saved. Select CPX Appear Diag AOI. Click Open. The Import Configuration window opens. Click OK. Now the CPX Appear Diag AOI is available in Add on Instruction folder. Continue this way with CPX Appear IO Link Parameter AOI. And repeat it with the CPX API parameter AOI. Now the imported AOIs can be found in the Add on Instruction folder. Configuring input output tags in Studio 5000. Configure input output tags. CPX appear parameter. Drag and drop the CPX appear parameter AOI from add on instruction folder to empty ladder of the program. Enter the name of the AOI. Select new option with tag name. A pop-up window opens. Click create. Enter the name for IO data interface tag. Data type of the tag will automatically assign a SINT 64. Continue like this for MSG source data. MSG destination data. And MSG read data. Click Browse button of MSG Read Data Interface tag. Assign parameters values like displayed. Assign source tag which was created beforehand. And assign, and assign the destination tag that was created beforehand. Open the Communication tab. Click Browse. Select CPX API EP module that has been created beforehand. Click OK to confirm and close the configuration window. Enter the tag name for MSG Write Data. Click Browse button of MSG Write Data Interface tag. Fill in the parameters values like displayed. Assign source tag that was created beforehand. And assign the destination tag that was recently created. Select CPX API EP module that has been created beforehand. Click OK to confirm and close the configuration window. Once all the IOs are assigned successfully, AOI looks like as shown. IO link parameter. Drag and drop the CPX API IO link parameter AOI from add on instruction folder to empty run of a program. Enter the tag name for interface tag. Right click. 
Select New. Click Create. Select Tag Scope depending on user's runtime project. Continue like this for IO data. MSG source data. MSG destination data. And MSG read data. Click browse button of MSG read data interface tag. Assign parameters values like displayed. Assign the source tag that was created beforehand. And assign the destination tag that was created beforehand. Select CPX API EP module that has been created beforehand. Click OK to confirm and close the configuration window. Enter the tag name for MSG write data. Click browse button of MSG write data interface tag. Fill in the parameters values like displayed. Assign source tag. And assign the destination tag. Select CPX API EP module that has been created beforehand. Click OK to confirm and close the configuration window. Once all the IOs are assigned successfully, AOI looks like as shown. CPX appear diag. Drag and drop the CPX appear diag AOI into the program. Enter the tag name for interface tag CPX API Diag. Click Browse of IO Status First Element Interface Tag. Select status tag array of Ethernet module created in previous chapters from control tag list. Enter the tag name for interface tag IO Global Diagnostic. Enter the tag name for interface tag MSG01. Click Browse. Assign all parameters as displayed. Assign any dummy tag for MSG instructions source element tag.
Open drop-down menu of destination element tag. Select destination value tag from same AOI. Click Browse. Select the Ethernet module created beforehand. Click OK. Once all the IOs are assigned successfully, AOI looks like as shown. Download the configured program in PLC to ensure no errors in project file. If there is any error, PLC will not allow you to download program. Run the program and check for the errors. Watch the next video on this topic.